podcast La Sal Org. Are there any activities or plans that you'd like to share at the end of this podcast that will get people excited about what you have in mind as a superior general? Oh, I have many things in mind. <laughs> uh, um, well, I, 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 uh, there, there are many recent experiences. Um, uh, Lebanon, for example. Uh, I was just there very recently and, you know, one very moving experience for me, it was not in the program. Uh, I, w I was just passing through um, the, the alumni office and they wanted me to have um, a courtesy call with the alumni. But it so happened that on that very day at around lunchtime, uh, the alumni had this project of distributing, distributing uh, uh, food to the hungry. So in this little window, uh, there were bags and bags of, 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 of food, I think pasta, some fruits, uh, sugar, coffee, that they distribute, I think once or twice a week. Né? And outside were, 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 were these adult men, women, uh, and inside were, were the, the Lasallian group, the brothers, the, the alumni. And passing on, passing on, passing on. I happened to just look at that little window where, where, where these adult Lebanese Syrians, I'm not sure um, who were there, just reaching out for a bag of, of food, maybe for three days, maybe for one week. And, and, and the picture in my mind was a painting of, of De La Salle Uh, himself distributing bread to the hungry during the the time of the wor the worst uh, 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 crises in France at the time, and and I just can't help but but merge the two pictures together, like I see you on the screen and I'm on the one screen. Tell us all distributing bread at the time of famine. And the brothers and the Lasallians distributing food packages in Lebanon at this time. Um, I think the Lebanese teachers who were with me, the brothers, were kind of teary-eyed seeing what was happening in the country and, and how many poor people were there. I have had many such experiences. And, 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 and I figured these are happening in so many other parts of the world. Um, uh, I, I, in the same, in the same place in, in, um, in Egypt, uh, that was my next trip. Uh, I, I went to the, to this group and, uh, there was a group of, of students who were, who were in the, in, the, being helped by, by the Lasallian family, um, among, in, in the school, they're the ones who come from the, uh, from, from families who are financially challenged, And, 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 and several of them would come for, for some sessions in the morning and then they'll be offered some food, real food. Um, that was my last day in Egypt. And, and the brother said, uh, oh, there's this feeding program to students. And I said, ah, okay, I, I think I, my program was, was to visit a museum that morning. And then there was a, there was a big gathering in the evening. I said, I'm not sure if I could make it uh, given the traffic in Cairo. No? But so they arranged like a, a Zoom meet. They put the students in one class and, and I was supposed to be in the brother's house. And, but in between, I said, maybe, maybe I should just go to the school no? and walk. Let's walk if, if, we, if we can uh, through the traffic so that we could make it on time. So, so, so that's what we did. I, I came into the room And the students were all there and uh, they were waiting for me in the Zoom. And they, I could hear the, the, the organizer saying, okay, brother will be in the Zoom meeting. Uh, there's this big TV and he'll be there in, in five minutes. So, okay, sit down and let's listen to him, wait for him. And after five minutes, I opened the door and I was there in front of them. They were all, they were all so odd that I was, was uh, with them in the same room. 
I, I didn't know what to do. I just went through each, each kid and, and uh, shook their hands, embraced them and say how happy I am to be with them. And, and, and they were so happy that I was there live um, and not in a Zoom meeting. I'm thinking of, of, of all of these little groups and, and this little experiences. And I'm like, there, there's so many things that's happening in the Lasallian family, every other place in the world. I wouldn't know about them until I actually went and visited. I don't know. I don't know how these kinds of stories can be part of, of, of our podcast, of, 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 of what we communicate to the rest of the world. It doesn't have to be me. Every Lasallian has a story to tell. Um, it doesn't have to be lofty. It can be just real story. Uh, but we need to do that. We need a space where that is communicated. We need a mountain where we can proclaim that good news. And, and, and I think that's the good news that the world is direly lacking today. No? Events that I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to those little events, those little stories that will be shared because the grand stories stay with us for a while, but, but they don't touch the heart as much. No? It's these little stories as in the Gospels, the parables, uh, those little encounters that, that make a, a real transformation of our world. So that's what I'm hoping, that, that people can begin sharing their stories, that we can have a platform where stories can be shared and, and we could embrace each other because we know through those stories that we really are human, finite, fragile, but free. Thank you so much, Brother Armin. That has been an amazing first episode for this podcast series. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mary Ann, an alumna of De La Salle University, Manila. Brother Armin's all the way in Rome, Italy. I mentioned that earlier, but thank you so much for making the time to speak to me and of course to the rest of the La Salle community. And we can't wait to hear more from this podcast series and also about the events and plans that you have as Superior General. So thank you, Brother Armin. Thank you, Mariel. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Every week we will have a new episode of Limited Fragile Free. Follow us and share LaSalle Org podcast. Your podcast our podcast. See you soon. LaSalle Org is a podcast produced by the Office of Information and Communication of the Institute of the Brothers of the Christian Schools.